Having said that though, we shouldn't completely dismiss ornamental plants, obviously, because you never know when one's gonna come crushing down and land on your head and also crush all your fruit trees. Oh no. Scooter. Scooter. Scooter, are you okay? Scooter, come here. He survived. Good boy, that's the third time in two weeks you've survived a catastrophe. Well, at least Scooter's okay. But I don't think my fruit trees are in very good condition and I've got a heck of a lot of work to do by the looks of it. Oh, gee. G'day, I'm Mark from Soul Sufficient Me. And as you can see from that intro, it was a setup. The tree didn't fall on me, obviously. But it is kind of ironic that just yesterday I released a video praising the heck out of ornamental plants and how good they are for the food gardener. Have a look at that video. There it is up there. And I'll have it in description as well. But yeah, kind of ironic that uh, I have to make that video and then an ornamental tree happens to drop a major branch and looks like it smashed a few of my fruit trees. Uh, hopefully it's not too much damage, but to be honest, I haven't had a real close look at it just yet because it's kind of um, sudden. We woke up this morning, I took the boys to school and we backed the car out and I got the shock of my life. In my peripheral vision, I. I felt like everything was really close. And uh, yeah, sure enough, I saw that the branch was down. Well, several branches. What in fact happened was last night I did hear it drop, but I had no idea it was a branch. I was sound asleep and I heard a bang. And I got startled, it woke me up. I've had stuff all sleep, actually taken a few painkillers because uh, I didn't get much sleep at all last night and my neck was sore, but anyway, I. I heard this bang and the scooter went off, started barking. And really honestly, do you know what I thought it was? I thought it was a possum jumping from a tree on the outside here and landing on our tin roof. I thought a possum might have jumped and landed on the roof and made a big bang and startled me and then maybe startled scooter. But of course, it wasn't, it was this tree falling over. So let's go and have a look and inspect the damage. I've had a quick look, like I said, but uh, I haven't really had a close look. First thing that I am relieved about is that this Davidson plum here, I've been waiting for a good five or six years for this to grow. This is a native plum, native New South Wales and Southeast Queensland produces a sour plum. I think it produces it from flowers on the stem or on the trunk. And it looks like it's flowering for the first time. If that got crushed, I would be really crushed myself because it's just starting to turn into a really nice specimen, as you can see. The fruit is about plum size, I believe, but it's quite sour, really good for making jams. Some people like eating it. I'm actually not a, you know, a sour person, a sour, tasting person um, so uh, I'm glad that didn't get crushed so this is an ornamental part of our garden we've got a love chair there that didn't get crushed so just check out the size of this thing I'll see if I can get some perspective for you but um, Yeah, it's just sort of let go under its own weight by the looks of it. This heart of the tree there looks like it's got some rot, but that doesn't look like there's much rot there. Just looks like he's snapped. Snapped clean off. Wow. Yep, that's a, a big branch. Huge branch, it's probably a foot and a half or more across. I don't know if you can get some perspective of how big that is compared to me. But yeah, that's pretty huge. 
This is a big Morton Bay fig. I don't know how old it would be, maybe 80 years or more. Could be older than that. But uh, that's how it's gone. Missed the, the, the chairs. And she's just crushed everything. Now, uh, of course, it's crushed several ornamentals. This is a golf gold. And uh, yeah, she's been bent over. It looks like maybe, maybe salvageable. Yeah, it's probably salvageable, but there's some, there's a lot of damage done to it. I don't even know if I'll be able to. Looks like the macadamia got missed. That's the macadamia there. It's just, just missed out. Thankfully, look at that. So that survived. Oh, well, I think that was, yeah, that was a fruit tree right here. That's got flattened. And there's another one through here. I don't know if I can show it to you properly. It looks like it's taken the brunt as well. There's a plum. That's a plum there and it's taken the brunt. The tree might survive, but uh, it's got set back big time. And this was a little nectarine. The nectarine here has been flattened completely so it didn't get on didn't get out of it unscathed oh that'll be lucky to survive this nectarine very lucky there's a big branch right across the base of that nectarine tree doesn't taste too bad for green on that side of the path was a peach and I showed that in the last video a nice close-up of that peach yeah it's got a fairly large branch across it and that's yeah that's a picture of it looking back that way massive massive branch drop and as it dropped it also pulled down a, a branch above it somehow don't know how that happened but it did it broke that down this must have fell under its own weight. I've got a few days of chopping wood with a chainsaw here. And probably another day of mulching with the mulcher. Anyway, that's it. I guess you guys know what I'll be doing this weekend. <laughs> That'll be chopping up wood. That's never a fun job. Hard work, dangerous work. But uh, obviously I've got to get these branches off those fruit trees as soon as possible. And... Uh, see if I can salvage what's left of them. Anyway, I better get into it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up, share around, subscribe. Bye for now.